I'm reporting from Taiwan, where this island is increasingly becoming a focal point between US and China tensions. I'm going to take you to three places to explain how the competitions between the two superpowers, from the tech to the military, could determine the future of this place. But first, a little history about why Taiwan is so important to China. This island was where the Chinese Nationalist Party fled after its military defeat at the end of the Chinese Civil War in 1949. Today, Taiwan hosts democratic elections, uses a defense passport, and has its own distinct flag. And while some politicians here support closer ties with Beijing, many people have gone uncomfortable with that idea. This is our first stop, the capital of Taiwan, Taipei. Here, a growing numbers of young Taiwanese support closer ties with the US over closer relations with China. Security experts say this kind of statement could mean military actions that push the U.S. into conflict. And recently, there has been a lot more military activity at the strait between the island and mainland China. This is the Strait of Taiwan. The Wall Street Journal did a tally of how many Chinese warplanes were in the region using information from Taiwan's defense ministry. And we find that in 2020, China sent about 380 warplanes to this region. But this year, there were already about 290 warplanes. U.S. officials and former Taiwanese military leaders say Taiwan will need to do more to be able to fend off an invasion from China. Especially since China has about 100 times as many ground force personnel as Taiwan. China's annual military budget is also 25 times larger. So in an attempt to fill the gap, last year Taiwan increased the military spending by 10% and has been purchasing weapons from the U.S. But some military analysts say it's not in China's interest to attack. The seas are rough, and Taiwan's coastline make it difficult for warship to land. Most importantly, an invasion could prompt a military response from the U.S., which would likely escalate. But if not a military conflict, Taiwan provides at least one more area of competition between the U.S. and China. Behind me is the headquarters of TSMC, the world's largest contract chip maker. Its chips ends up in our smartphone and laptop. But now, because of a global chip shortage, Taiwan is becoming more important to the US and China. That's because TSMC controls more than 90% of the market for the most advanced semiconductors. TSMC has tried to walk the line between China and the U.S. But the tension between these two countries has made this difficult. Especially after Washington restricted Chinese telecom giants Huawei's access to TSMC over national security concerns. The Trump administration has instructed an American supplier to stop working with TSMC if it's kept exporting chips to Huawei. To reduce its dependence on Taiwan, China has made chip manufacturing a priority. So has the U.S. with a commitment of $15 billion to building up that sector. We're investing aggressively in areas like semiconductors and batteries. That's what they're doing and others. So must we. But it would take years before these efforts bear fruit, giving the U.S. and China yet another reason to focus on Taiwan. And I can say with confidence that the United States' partnership with Taiwan is stronger than ever. Ultimately, 
the future of this island is going to be a key challenge for the Biden administration. So the U.S. will have to find the right balance between supporting Taiwan while making sure ongoing tensions with China doesn't escalate further.